hello guys welcome once again in the last video we have seen how to create a new schema a new database using mysql workbench and also with the help of query and we have also learned how to create a table inside your database in this video we will see how to insert values in your database table and some other things so let's get started first of all we made this database called database only so go here and click this and in this table the table name is edata I have changed the table name and just click right click this table and go to edit data so we will come up with our table with four columns we have created last time the first column is employee id second is name third is surname and fourth is age now we are going to insert some values in this table so just double click these cells and you can insert the column so mark and his age 25 second John is age 33 third jack his age is 40 for example and the fourth employee Jill and his age is so simply you can insert these uh, values in your database and when you click when you're done with inserting click apply and in here comes the query insert into database dot e data which is our tail table name and then write your column in which you want to insert data and then the values so and then apply and our data is inserted successfully so if you go and right click and go to edit table once again our data is saved you can see now I want to insert this data with the help of query so what I will do is I will select my second database which I use for inserting data with the help of queries so I will select this and in my query tab here I will write insert insert into your table name which is edata and then it's a better good practice to indicate your schema also so I will write database dot e data so it indicates that sorry one two three it indicates my database which is this database database one two three dot this table so it specifies my database and my table and then I will make brackets and 
the columns in which I want to make changes. So first column is ID employee info comma sep second column is name third column is surname sorry surname and fourth column is age okay and then write values and once again make a bracket and close it and in here we will insert the values so first the employee id or this id so I, this is an integer i will write one comma name mark for example third column is surname i will write some surname and fourth column is age so i will write 34 is his age so this is the query in order to insert a first row in your database 1 to 3 and in the table e data this which is this and i will click this execute button and it says some error unknown column mark so we will see why it's not so let's see what is the mistake here here i have written insert into database name dot my table name and in this bracket my column names and i have written values 3 and mark and bill these are characters so if you want to insert the character it cannot identify that it's a character so you have to surround it by single quotes like this and now it identify that it's a var care variable so now when I execute my query it shows me duplicate entry because I will write 4 here because I have inserted already 3 values previously for testing my query so once again and yes it's saved you can see here my green indication comes so it means that my query is executed so let's see my data is inserted or not yes this is the fourth column I have inserted and the error which comes previously is the duplicate entry for primary key because I have already inserted one two three so I have to insert fourth time so in this way you can insert data into table with the help of workbench also and with the help of this query also once again we will go through the query to insert a data into the table you need to write insert into database dot table name your columns in which you want to enter your data and the values you want to enter and remember that if you want to insert var care variable you need single quotes surrounding that value or that data so keep in mind this and you will be good to go so i hope you have learned something new this time 
Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And bye for now.